Do I get sad or do I get lonely on the road? Let's talk about mental health and miles. Hey, you wild one, how are you? How are you doing? I'm Liz Bryant or Wild by the Mile. And I first revealed this to you on Instagram. And I wanna say thank you so much because the outpouring of support of me revealing that I felt kind of a little flat or a little deflated lately, was like tremendous. You guys have been messaging me in mass amounts. You've been writing all my pictures, just checking on me. You've been asking, hey, are you feeling better? Or giving me tips on what you do when you feel this way. So I'm gonna do a deep dive into my feeling and how I cope with that and when it comes on. So sit tight, we're gonna talk about some heavy stuff, but we're also gonna lift it right back up and talk about what I do to kick my butt and to get me back up. You know how like you have those battery chargers when you have a dead battery and you have to put the red is it the red on the positive and the black on the negative, I think? Let's talk about how I like jump start my battery again. My own personal battery. This is pretty classic of me. These fine men <laughs> are helping me because I got myself stuck. Really stuck. Right now, I am in Napa Valley with friends. So the answer at this immediate moment is no. But this feeling has come over me and we're gonna talk about that crashing, that wave feeling that's come over me in the last month, just a handful of times. My feeling is very kind of like a surface level slight feeling. So imagine you blowing up a balloon and the balloon has all the air in it. Well then, you want to deflate the balloon or you want to pop the balloon. All the air hums out of the balloon. So it's just this flat piece of rubber just kind of flapping that's deflated. It doesn't have much energy. It doesn't have much air in it. Nothing kind of blowing it up, expanding it. That is my best analogy or my best metaphor to how I felt just a handful of times. And I wanna stress it's just been about five times in the last month. Kind of feeling flat, kind of feeling blah, kind of feeling deflated. One, I notice this feeling when the weather is a little gloomy outside. So it's cloudy, it's drizzly, the sun is not shining. Last week when I was feeling this, it was also overcast. And today it's the same and drizzling. When I say I'm sun powered and solar powered and powered off vitamin D, I truly think that is the best way to describe it. I decided that I had to get out. I had to go do something so that my mind would not focus on that feeling. So I went to Hearst Castle. I went for about two hours and by the end of it, I didn't even know. I didn't even remember that I had felt this depressive, slightly depressive state earlier this morning. I think this is the main factor this past month. I have gone, gone, gone. I'm a doer and I'm a go-getter and I wanna do this, but then all of a sudden I don't have anything else to give and that makes me feel really bad. It's noon and I am out, just taking a step back from the computer to go take some pictures of Montana de Oro. Another situation where I feel this way is if I haven't taken some me time, so if I haven't gone to hang out with some friends, if I haven't gone to yoga, if I haven't even walked on the beach, if I haven't even jumped in the water, if I haven't just kind of done something for myself, if I've just been sitting in front of the computer, you're alone in this, what, like 60 square feet of space you don't have someone else to distract you. You don't have internet. You don't have a television. You don't have, um, I don't know, just a couch to sit on and look at unlimited Netflix videos. These are all the things that make me me and these are all my quirks and these are the reasons that I feel this way because I don't have all these other distractions. So being in the van and feeling these emotions is one of those growing and learning experiences. So what do I do when I feel this way? What do I do when I feel a little sad? Well, I know it doesn't last long. That's the first thing that I tell myself. How long is this gonna last? Why are you feeling this way? Should you be feeling this way? How can you even feel this way? Don't dissect or analyze it, just feel it. It always just kind of comes out of the blue. I feel all of this like in a very 100% like reality real form because I don't, I make sure to not numb feelings with drugs or alcohol or prescriptions or any other inhibitors. Now let's transition from do I get sad to do I get lonely? The answer is yes, yes, and yes. Do I get lonely? Of course I get lonely. I am in a van by myself all the time. I have no mate to bounce ideas off of, just to talk to or 
to sit and just chat with or to help me check off things on my to-do list. Not only am I traveling and working all by myself, but I'm living all by myself without consistent neighbors. Like I don't have neighbors to go across the street and have a barbecue with because my scenery is changing every night or every three nights. That's really why I love to go back to San Diego and to work because I go immerse myself back in my neighborhood and I hang out and have dinner with my friends or I just go play the piano with them or just go hang out. And sometimes I meet people, you know, sometimes like the other day I was hiking up a mountain and I met a friend that I talked to for a few minutes. Yes, you meet people along the road, but the relationships are always kind of this like surface level relationship. It doesn't ever get like super deep because you've only known them for a few hours and then like two days later you leave town. I do realize that when I get lonely, this is the correlation. It's a struggle between expectation versus reality. I have this little bit, it's not like a very, very big expectation, but I have sometimes a fleeting expectation of, well, I think I would want a partner to experience this with. This is the present moment, like that's not in the cards at this moment. Another time that I feel I get lonely are the winter months. So when the sun sets, gosh, around what, 4.35, like something super early, then it's dark outside. You don't have anything to like go do outside. So the earlier the sun sets, the earlier you're sitting in the van by yourself. And that's where I think loneliness kind of peaks. How do I cope with loneliness? I lean on my friends. I am on the phone with my girlfriends and with my family every day, like at least once or twice a day. The other thing about feeling lonely is that I try not to focus on that. I try to like go out and walk. And so I'm not just sitting there thinking about how I'm lonely. I get my mind, I divert, I divert my mind onto thinking about something else or giving my attention to something else. I think on Instagram, it's kind of portrayed like we just have a big van community and all the vans are always around in a circle and we're just always hanging out and having van parties. Yes, that does happen, but that's not li like that's not 24 seven life. Maybe once every two months that we hang out in a big van community. And those moments are so special because you do have your van life friends who have all these same problems or I don't want to call them problems. Let's do air quote problems. They have all these same feelings. And so you get to relate. I am confident in my situation. I'm confident in the van. I'm confident in my lifestyle choice. This is where I need you. I want to know, do you have days that you feel deflated or flat or blah? Or are there days where you feel lonely? What do you do? I want to know what your methods are, what your tricks of the trade are. Next week is a fun one. You guys have been waiting for this video. It's all about how I stay active, how I stay fit, how I stay healthy living on the road. So we're gonna take it outside. I'm gonna go hiking on some trails. That's what you guys voted for. It was kind of a tie. You said, a lot of you said, I wanna see you rock climb. And a lot of, of you said, I wanna see you hike a trail a day as your fall activity. And I'm gonna also show you kind of the gear that I use to help me get me motivated. Because the hardest part for me is not actually doing the activity, it's getting motivated to do the activity. So I'll see you next Sunday, 7 p.m. West Coast time. And as always, safe travels.